Ballot battle is now over after results were released over the weekend from a manual recount. Senator Bill Nelson then conceded the race for Senate, which means Governor Rick Scott has won that Senate seat. But there's more fallout following the election with word that Broward County Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes is stepping down. Let's go now to Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright, who is live in Lauder Hill. She has her hands now on that resignation letter. Madeline, what does it say? In that letter, Brenda Snipes said it was her honor and her passion to serve as supervisor of elections here in Broward County, but that it is time to step down. This sign with her name on it will eventually have to be removed. Her resignation comes after almost two weeks of controversy, including President Donald Trump accusing her on Twitter without evidence of election fraud. Embattled Broward election supervisor Brenda Snipes is stepping down after 15 years on the job. In a letter to Governor Rick Scott Sunday, she wrote, Although I have enjoyed this work tremendously over these many election cycles, both large and small, I am ready to pass the torch. Therefore, I request you accept my letter of resignation effective January 4th, 2019. Snipes drew criticism for the missed recount deadline and what some say was a confusing ballot layout. She acknowledged her office misplaced more than 2,000 ballots. They got intermingled with the other ballots when we were doing the recount. Snipes' resignation came shortly after Broward finished its hand recount. It confirmed Republican Rick Scott's victory over Democrat Bill Nelson in the U.S. Senate. Nelson conceded on Sunday. I've had the privilege of serving the people of Florida and our country for most of my life. In a statement, Scott says, my focus will not be on looking backward, but in doing exactly what I ran on, making Washington work. The recount also decided the winner of the hotly contested governor's race. Democrat Andrew Gillum conceded Saturday to Republican Ron DeSantis. RJ and I uh, wanted to take a moment uh, to congratulate uh, Mr. DeSantis. I was never really in danger uh, of right, losing because my margin was big enough, but now I can go forward without having to, to worry about this. The election results will be certified tomorrow. As far as Snipes' resignation, Local 10 reached out to her several times for comment. So far, we have not heard back, and I'm told by Snipes' assistant that Snipes will likely not be in either of her two offices anytime this week. Live in Lauder Hill, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.